Hi there, it is Talking Transfers. I'm Josh Sexton, joined once again by Paul Gorse from the Liverpool Echo to talk through some transfers, some rumours. The January transfer window has slammed open. Uh, we'll have a bit of a chat about what we think the Reds might look to do this January. Some ins, some outs maybe to come. Um, Paul, obviously we have to start with, with Kylian Mbappe because yes. it is always the way once the transfer window opens that there's going to be some Kylian Mbappe links. Yeah. Obviously the sort of, I guess the difference this time around is that his contract's up in the summer. It effectively means that, you know, if Liverpool wanted to, they could talk to him about a pre-contract agreement now. It just it just feels like one that's never going to go away until it, yeah. until it finally does go it's, away. Well, it's strange, is it? It's like, what, what is it really a transfer window if there's not Mbappe chat? Um, I mean, I don't, know, I don't know about you, Josh, but I get a bit tired of, of the Mbappe talk. Not so much from a Liverpool perspective, because obviously we're involved in that and yeah, you know, yeah. we have to kind of pay attention, but... When, it's, when he's having all these fallouts with PSG and all these contract wranglings and realms that are just there in the background, I get a bit bored of it all. Yeah. But um, Liverpool, um, I mean, the weird thing is, it doesn't seem to be too many other teams fishing about. It's either Real Madrid, Liverpool or seemingly PSG. And um, I don't think Liverpool are front runners in this by any stretch. But the fact that they're in the conversation is, is interesting. Um, they, they, they like them, no doubt about yeah. it. Um, you know, you've liked them since his Monaco days. I remember working at the Echo years back, and people who worked there at the time, sort of, you know, speaking to the club at the time, were telling me that you know Liverpool were quite um, encouraging in, in the noises they were making at the time, which was a surprise. I think they were expecting, you know, them to say, "Ah, oh, you know, great player, but he's not for us." You know, but they were making it known, you know, privately that he was someone who they liked, and, and that interest has only, you know, intensified in recent years. What I found interesting was Mbappe saying, you know, quite openly that Liverpool courted him, didn't he? Was, yeah. it, was it before he went to PSG, I think, um, that he spoke to him and his mum's a big Liverpool fan and his mum's actually, you know, a big driving force of, of his career moves. Um, uncompromising agent slash mother figure. Um, so it's, it's interesting, this one. I think the absence of a transfer fee makes it a little bit more realistic. You know that Liverpool aren't going to be after spending 200 million on a player before they've even talked to him about a contract. The issue is, is Liverpool's highest paid player of all time is Mo Salah, around about 350, 400,000 pounds, based on kind of goal bonuses and, and whatever else, however that works specifically. Um, now Liverpool could pay Mbappe that feasibly, but you know if he, if he wants a little bit more than that, that I, I think Liverpool might have to accept that it might be beyond them. But I don't think it's a total non-starter, which you know is probably enough to, to keep fans interested for certainly the next few weeks and, and then whatever happens in the summer. And that's the strange thing, isn't it? It's almost that sort of dumb and dumber. So, so you're saying there's a chance kind <laughs> yeah, of element yeah. too, because yeah. the, the, the thing I keep thinking is like David Ornstein's been, been talking about and he says Madrid are always going to be the most likely front runners. He doesn't necessarily see anything credible in, in the Liverpool links. But the thing I keep thinking is, Yes, Real Madrid feel a little bit like the Grim Reaper at the door, just waiting for you know something to happen in, in this move, whether it's Mbappe to just see out his contract and then, and then Madrid can come in. It feels like the thing that Madrid are waiting for is potentially also the opportunity that, that Liverpool can take as well, like you say, where suddenly the absence of a transfer fee goes. Um, if Mbappe is you know, completely free, then he's free to negotiate whatever he wants in terms of, of a contract. It just, it just does feel like there's maybe is a slight chance for, for Liverpool there, or is, or is that just copium that I'm, that I'm sipping on there? Yeah, I mean, you know, come the summer, Liverpool might be able to say, come and join the Premier League champions, might they? And, yeah. and that, that's a big feather in your cap. Um, look, there's no doubt that Real Madrid remain the, the front runners, like I say, and, you know, most sorts after free agents, probably this century, yeah. goes to biggest club in the world, is not, would not exactly be a, a shocker with it. You know, there's no real shock when Jude Bellingham pitched up there in the summer, but um, I think Liverpool maybe got a little bit more than a watching brief on this one I'm sure that there will be um, private quiet conversations sounding out the relevant people the necessary people and we'll see what happens but um, I don't think it's one of those where a few years ago when you, kn you know that Liverpool don't pay the money that Real Madrid do or, or Man City on, on as regular a basis as, as they do for transfer fees so maybe a few years ago you'd say well Liverpool are never going to pay 200 million for this player it's just not how they were. But now that that is uh, potentially not a factor, that for me may means that maybe there's a little bit more realistic than perhaps it has been in recent years. But I still fancy him um, to pitch up at Real Madrid in the summer and we'll all think, oh, why, were we, why, why did we ever entertain yeah, that? Why do we but hope so? At the moment, we are very much entertaining it, I guess. YouTube, press the button, become a member of the Anfield Wrap from the heart of the city of Liverpool. 
the best way to enjoy all your Liverpool-based videos, everything you need, every single day. It is the Anfield Wrap.